you repeat that, please? They're about <laughs> three feet by three feet uh -huh. by about five feet deep. Uh -huh. Five feet and deep, wow. Unusually, they've got these stones bedded in the tops of them for ripping the tank traps as a track goes over. Hmm. Tank tracks. Hmm. You can see the slatting. They've had the wooden slats to pour the concrete into. Uh huh. huh. Oh. Some of these have got writing on them. I'd be curious to see one with writing if you see one in yeah. uh, color. Let's see. Another unusual thing about these tank traps is yeah. they're all sort of three foot by three foot by about five foot, uh -huh. roughly. Yeah. Uh, so they're all square mm -hmm. cross-section. But some of the ones further down here are actually cylindrical, which is very unusual. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, you could be doing uh, tours yeah. to uh, tourists and, uh, <laughs> you know, Aging Americans and stuff. <laughs> and these would have gone all the way to Aberdeen. Uh huh, really? Mm -hmm. Holy moly. And every so often there are pillboxes again. Uh huh. So they're all tumbling over. Mm -hmm. We're looking at tumbled over, tumbling over. Um, what do you call them again? Tank, tank, traps. tank traps from probably 1942. About 1942, British uh, defenses against German, invasion. German Nazi invasion. The funny thing about them now is, you know, you look at some. Oh, there's um, even on uh, the Seattle waterfront in this one park area there. There's like some sculptures that are just kind of big uh, hewn rocks. Yeah. Some artists nowadays would do something like this as an art project and yeah. you know, get a $50,000 commission from the Arts Commission. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, here's a bit of text. Oh yeah. Um, this is an archaeological flair to me. It says uh, <coughs> B-L, B-L-O-N, mm -hmm. Blanc something. C O R mm -hmm. C O R C O R P Y hmm. the C O R R Y maybe. So some uh, Curry. soldier, whoever made these things, probably did this at the time the concrete was uh, yeah. being set. So Blong Blong Curry or something. Hmm. Huh. Initials here, JS. Uh huh. JS. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Right, now I'm going to show you something else, something a bit special. Okay. Behind here, they must have used the area for destroying ordnance as well, because oh, really? there are lots of shrapnel in the remains of uh, sea mines again. Huh. Just over there. Huh. But we're going to go up here. Okay. Right. <clears throat> when I, I lived, the last place I lived in London was, was Watford, and it was Watford that I moved from come up here. Uh -huh. My ex-wife's mother stayed down there. So occasionally I used to, I used to go down and visit her. Uh -huh. And uh, one day